What's going on guys? Truck Smarty here today. And it's, you know, I actually have again vlogging. No rain. But we might get some rain tomorrow. But um I don't know what's gonna happen this weekend. I've got tomorrow Sunday off or Sunday off, so maybe I'll we'll do something then, but I got some stuff I gotta get done today and I've got work and all that. So we'll see how this weekend goes. But I just wanna say thank you again to everyone who um showed up the truck meet last week and um, we're, have, we're already planning the next one out right now. If you follow the Instagram page, which if you don't, please do. Especially for these local truck meets we're doing. We like to push updates through that more than YouTube. But um, please follow the Instagram page for updates on uh, stuff that's going on on the channel and everything like that. But anyways, so yeah, I don't know what's going to happen that much today. But um, it's, an, it's a really nice day out, which I'm really happy about. So yeah, but the one thing I do want to grab about, and any truck guy that's really big into um, cleaning his vehicles will appreciate this, is birds. Seriously, why do you have to crap all over my daggum windshield? I don't understand it. I'll clean this truck, and two minutes later, a bird will decide to take a poop on it. I really don't understand it. It's really, really annoying. That and bugs. Cause like, since it's summertime out now, mosquitoes are out, more like moths and all that are flying around. So since I have 6,000 lumen a piece headlights, they get really attracted to it when I'm driving at night and they hit and they splatter every freaking where and it's so daggum annoying. But other than that, I'm about to probably get some lunch, head to work, um, get some stuff done at work. I might do something tonight, I'm not sure yet, but um, we'll catch you up all in a little bit. Okay guys, so I, just, I got done with work a few, uh, about two hours ago. Um, right now, my buddy's running the best bike, he needs to grab some quickly, but we're gonna go ride uh, go-karts. And we, in Knoxville they have one, it's like electric ones, but they're really fast. I mean, they're like 40 or 50 miles an hour, I think. So I got my helmet back here. So I can mount the GoPro on it. So we're gonna go do that. I'm gonna bring you all along, it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to do it. You ain't messing with the flow, you ain't messing with my vision. Yep, you're good. I want to get proof if he hits me and injures me, I have proof. Well, if he hits you from behind, you don't. Oh, it's <laughs> Didn't think about that. That was, I mean, it's good planning on your part, but. Yeah, I just never would have thought. And he'll tell you what criteria is. Exactly. Colin, you're going to be in 22, Josh, you're going to be in 21. Okay, 22. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. The tour gun was insane. That's not, oh, hey, my birthday's 20. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, crap, these are like shifter carts. Yeah, these are legit. These are like shifter carts without the, uh... All right, guys, you have to make sure you tighten the weights first and then those shoulders, and I'll get you out there on that track. I'm going to pace you guys out. That way it helps you get faster speeds and just helps you guys get paid. Okay. Uh, you're... So your first lap, you're just gonna slowly graduate in speed. I'm just gonna try to get you guys to get back there. Okay. Alright, you that bathroom on
Right here. No, no, Jack's coming. Yeah, I had 29 average. I'll call him over at 28. Here. Oh, yeah. was that average? Oh, that was average last time. I was drifting quick. Just to show you all. Right there. Let's see if I can get it. I win. Oh, good.
can't forget all the fame I still would've done it if they would've played All of the music I make every day Like whoa, uh -huh. crazy the way the world goes Blind when you look at it Alright, you guys are good to get up And I'll have your results pulled up over there for you. Oh gosh, that man Where were you that time? I don't know. I tapped you and then I just, oh. I don't know what the deal was. And my steering wheel, it was like this going straight. And I was like, oh crap. Yeah, that's fun. Uh, yeah, helmets go back on the back. Heads up to the back. I got your results right over here. That was pretty intense race, you two. <laughs> yeah, I knew I was going to have that one. was bad. It's pretty good. Okay guys, we just got done with uh, Velocity. It's an indoor go-kart track. It was awesome. It was amazing. It was awesome. So that video footage, the first one, I got the fastest lap. Second one, Colin did. And I wish I could have kept up, but I, I clipped him and I could not catch up. But him and this dude in front of him had like an epic battle for like eight laps. It was awesome. It was, it was pretty awesome. So we're probably going to drive around a little bit, do some other stuff, and we might bring you all along with us. I don't know yet, but I'll catch you up here in a little bit. So guys, this is what Tomir props looks like right here. Trying to pull in the Sonic drive-in. <laughs> yeah, no, you're good on that side. It's this that I'm worried about. Okay, Paul's got that one. Oh dear God. <laughs> oh my gosh. And we're gonna make it. And we're good. Yay! Back up a little bit. There we go. And guys, that's how you pull in when you have twelve mirrors. Look at that gap. Nothing. There we go. Okay, okay, guys. The next day after last night, um, last night was awesome. Me and Colin went to that uh, Velocity out in West Knoxville. It's an indoor go kart speed track. I highly recommend it. It's the best go kart track I've ever been on. It all electric. They do like 50 something miles an hour, like 50 miles an hour, and they're fast. Like, don't get me wrong, it's a fast track. Um, prices aren't too bad actually, but if you're looking for something like a date night or guys like bro night or something that you're bored one day, you want to do that, I highly recommend it. Um, all the staff was super nice, they were super cool. Um, what's nice comments? Um, super nice, super cool. So, I highly recommend it. And my buddy and me had a pretty good battle. Or sorry, not me and him. The the first time, the first uh, race we did, I won it. Just me and him on the track. The second race was with another guy, and him and I wish I got more on video, but my car was kind of acting weird. The one I was in, I don't know if it was fully charged or not or something. I don't know. But him and this guy had an epic battle. I mean, I was watching. I don't know if he can pick it up on Go. And it picked up on GoPro or not, but it was awesome. So I want to shout out to that. It was an awesome night last night. Today, I don't have to work, but I've been getting some odds and ends done, doing some errands and stuff like that. So I might do something later this afternoon, I'm not sure, but I'll take you all along for the ride. But yeah, it's been a great weekend, and it's just been awesome. So I'll catch you all up here in a little bit. Okay guys, I'm home now, and I just gotta ask you all a question, see what you all think. So comment down below what you all think. Should I keep the setup of, um, my current setup of a bull bar with a 20 inch LED light bar or should I go with a fully custom front bumper with a custom built in 54 inch curved light bar. I've seen it done on some trucks and it looked really good. I was, I was thinking of doing it to mine but I'm not sure yet so comment down below if I should keep the bull bar or I should go with the custom chrome one piece gr uh, front bumper with the in, uh, built in 54 inch light bar. So comment down below what you all think. I want to hear your all's opinion and see what you all think about it. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for the vlog today. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. All of you, have a great day, and remember, never give up on your dreams.